Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play. We're back in Voxel Tycoon. I'm going to hit the pause button and uh, unpause us, get our traffic flowing. We've got plenty of traffic, but we're making decent money. Last month we made uh, $1,069,000, so that's pretty good. We did have some significant expenses, and this episode, <laughs> oh, we're going to have some huge expenses because uh, we're going to do more with trains. Now, I before recording this, this is my second attempt at getting into this episode because I started doing trains, cargo trains, and man, I didn't know what I was doing, and it was a mess. It was a disaster. So uh, in between episodes, I did a little bit of research online. I'll try and drop some links into the description uh, for some helpful resources that are to some helpful resources that I found. But I've got kind of a plan. I'm still a novice, very much and more than I thought, a novice with trains and lay, laying down rail networks. But we're going to give it a shot today. In this episode, we're going to ignore all of our messages and warnings. We're not going to bother with any of that. We're not going to worry about research right now. Uh, right now, we've got a kind of a positive cash flow. So we've managed to buy ourselves some time with our truck heavy routes so far. And then we've got our little people train going generating uh mass sums of profit here nearly four hundred dollars so that's not too <laughs> that's not too shabby so we may rework that line a little bit and uh and then we're also kind of waiting for this log business to uh go bankrupt so we can delete that building and run this passenger line through town we may loop it back down we'll see um but we're not gonna worry about that either that's kind of on autopilot for today, what I want to focus on is getting a material train route set up so we can start transporting materials. And I think I want to start with wood products over here by our, our Haver wood supply area. We've got 129,000 uh, raw material of wood still available to us. And here's kind of what I was thinking of doing. Now, this won't be a super optimal train network. This is kind of uh, glider cats getting familiar with train networks starting approach um, but hopefully it'll be functional so let me walk you through my plan for those of you who are very skilled at uh, setting up train networks uh, you'll probably see some inefficiencies here but uh, for those of you who are kind of newer to train networks uh, hopefully this the, the uh, design I've chosen here will be uh, a little more intuitive and kind of kind of entry level so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to set up a large uh, freight station here for train, you know, for a train freight station. It'll be pretty big next to the uh, our wood deposit here and our wood factories. That trains will come here and pick up all the wood products, the beams, the wood frames when we get them done. And what else? We got planks, the raw wood, if I didn't mention that. And whatever else we have coming in the wood production line. So they'll pick up those products here and then they'll deliver them to the various towns. So we'll have a big train station here. Then I'm going to go with uh, the junctions that I seem to understand the most. And that's just like our uh, circle junction. We'll see those. It's kind of like a roundabout. I'm going to kind of stick with those in the beginning. So we'll have a roundabout maybe somewhere up here if we can do it. This territory is encroaching on us a little bit. But we'll have a roundabout here that'll have uh, four different ways. You come into the roundabout and you can leave in four different directions. One of those directions I'm planning to have you come out near this coal resource. And we'll put another station here where trains can pick up coal and deliver them to different towns. So then we'll come up from that roundabout and maybe have another roundabout here. And from that one, you'll come off to the, I guess, the west. No, the east. You'll come out towards the east, towards our towns here. Maybe that'll be a little higher up, actually. We'll have a roundabout. And then yet another roundabout <laughs> that'll fork off, and you can go kind of north and hook into Summersville and maybe put a freight station there to deliver products into Summersville. And then if you go kind of out, out the... the um, up to the right of the roundabout and you can hit Amana Colonies. And then if you come into that roundabout and come out the bottom, we can maybe 
fit a, another freight station here just to serve Haver. So we'll give that a shot. We'll see how it works. We'll start with just, uh, well, let's just get into it. And uh, it's easier to kind of show you than to explain it. So let's give it a shot for our freight stations. Uh, let's just see what we want to do now. I'm trying to decide on the size of these things. And I'm still kind of wrestling with what is the right size. In one sense, the raw material ones, we may want trains sitting here and not leaving until they're full. And I don't know yet if, uh, yeah, if we'll have like a single train that's carrying multiple products or we'll have a train for each product. So are we going to have a train that's got cars? Uh, one, the first car has planks, the second car has beams, the third car has raw wood, or we're going to have three separate trains, one for wood, one for beams, one for planks. I'm not sure yet. I'm kind of thinking that we would want to have multiple products on each train, and then each train can kind of go to its own city rather than having the plank train visit all cities. Seems like that might be a little more efficient. So if that's the case, I'm a little... You know, not sure how 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 wide to have this uh, this freight station. So let's see. I've got it at two. I've got it at two hundred fifty meters. And you can see it's going to cost a half a million bucks. But we've got plenty of cash, and we're going to experiment. Uh, let's see. Let's put this guy. He's going to need to be able to pick up from factory from these wood factories. Let's put this guy right here. What do I have it at five lanes? Uh, we'll just have to experiment and see. Plop that guy down. Boom. There we go. And then we're going to go with two-way tracks too. So this track I have here in our initial kind of attempt at trying to get a freight station over here for Newport Beach, we'll probably tear this up or, or maybe reuse some of the track, but make it uh, uh, two, a double track system. So it's one way on each track as much as we can. I think that's a little easier to understand, at least for me. All right, so there is our first train station. Let's see, now we don't have, we have a little bit of room here to come in from this side. I think, let's see, let's, let's next try doing one of these circle junctions. We've got horrible terrain here, so we may have to flatten this. Let's see. Let's see what it costs us to level some of this terrain. This may be cost prohibitive. Yeah, boy, thousands, right? Thousands to level this. I want a nice circle junction up here. We may have to bite the bullet and do it. Now, I pay, do I pay a lot to raise terrain? And then uh, let's see how we want to get these trains out of the station again. I'm a novice at this, so it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit of an effort. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, I've got. Let's see something here. I mentioned I looked online. I copied some schematics here to kind of help me through this because, like I said, I am pretty new. To train stuff. So if we have this be a terminus station, this guy here, how would we want to run the tracks? So we're going to eventually have two tracks come out of here. Let's see if I can make this work. I'm going to grab some track here and we're going to be experimenting. And for the sake of making things a little easier, I'm going to level this terrain. We're going to be spending some cash somewhat unnecessarily just so uh, I can more easily learn what the heck I'm doing. I didn't really want to come up that high, but we'll do it. Fortunately, we're making some cash. All right, let me just see how that works all right we need to we're going to have this be at what's called a, a terminus station so trains are going to come in and come out from one direction versus having them kind of pass through the station here so let's give this a try like i said i'm working off a document here that i printed out i know it sounds like a 
I'm an old fogey or a nerd, but uh, like I said, I'm pretty new to doing this. So let's see. That's going to be our train coming in. And then we're going to have a train that comes out, our main track coming out. And now we need to join these guys up. Let's see if I can figure it out. We need a route from here going all the way out to this guy. Boom. Then this guy needs to join up with that. Let's see, can we do it? Okay, how do we do that? How do we make that work? Okay, yeah, that looks like that might work. Then we need a way to get to the far track from this track. Boom. And we need a way to get out of this one. see how is that gonna work can i make that work or not i don't need to do that and then the same thing with this guy oops let's take that out looks like i may have not too far. No, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull this off. Those three are fine. We just need to get this guy onto the exit track. So let's try it again. It might be able to just come in like this, right? Although, let's see. All right. I think that, I think that, ooh, no, that probably doesn't work. There's that little guy there let's take that out how's that working i guess we'll find out that looks like it's connected so once they get in however they get in everybody's got a way to get out right now looks like now we get to finish the routes in so i can get into the first one i can't get into any of the others let's see if i can figure this out so from here i want to get in there so let's see here I get in there and from here I want to get in there from here I want to get in there I think that's it I think now this is my first time doing a train junction like this it looks pretty crazy to me all right, let's put some signals down. And I think we need, let's see. I think these are all going to be the pre-signals, I believe. So pre-signals like that to get out. Then I see a, and I'm working off a document here, pre-signal here to get in. And then to get out, I think all we need is a regular signal. I could be wrong. But just to indicate that this is one way. So we'll try it and see how this works. But I think that may do it. Let me just look at my little notes here. It says a terminus station is entered and exited from the same side. While less efficient than one-way stations, these are cheaper and take less space. They're essentially a normal one-way station combined with an intersection. Therefore, there is a pre-signal at all the entrances.
It's a pre-signal at all the entrances. Did I not do that? Yeah, I didn't do that. Okay, we got to get pre-signals on all the entrances. So as you're coming in here, we need pre-signals. And this kind of helps indicate that these are two-way tracks. Right now you can see these all these little arrows are showing, hey, it's only one way. So we need pre-signals here, 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 and here. Okay, it says uh, we need pre-signals at all the entrances and the one connecting to the main line in this case. Okay. Four coming from the station. So this one's going to be five because I've got one extra lane, one coming in. Okay. The signals... Leading into the station can either be pre-signals or normal signals without any functional difference. Since as with two-way two -way rails, it is the last signal before a dead end. Okay. All right. I think that's our way in and out of the terminus station. Let's escape out of the build menu and take a look at this beauty. Not too bad. Looks nice. I like the way it looks. Now, I wanted to get a circle. Let's see. Look at my little diagram. It might not hurt to have a circle junction over here if we can do it. There's a little bit of a flat space. Let me uh, level this off and just experiment, see if we can make that happen. We'll level this little bit here. And I'm thinking this area. I can get one of these circle junction things going and this I need to look and see if I can figure this one out. All right, this is kind of crazy. So it's going to take me a minute to do it, but well, hopefully it will be somewhat entertaining to watch my attempts at getting this. <laughs> All right, we want this, 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 that. Let's bring up the ground here. We'll do our little trick, even though I don't I'm not crazy about this. Feels kind of cheaty, but uh, just in the interest of getting the train set up, we're gonna do it. Level just so we have the room we need. Again, this may take a couple attempts to get this right, but meanwhile, we're hopefully we're earning some cash. <laughs> this looks terrible. All right, hold on. Let me try. Let me try some more here. All right, I'm back. I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but I think this will work. It takes a long time uh, for me to figure this out or to get it done. You can see it's not perfectly symmetrical, but maybe with some more practice, I will get this uh, improved. But for now, I think that's going to do. Let's keep chugging along. Sorry, this is slow. Man, yeah, go ahead and skip several episodes if you must uh, until I get this figured out. Um, naturally, I'm off by one block here. Let's see if I can make this connect back up. Apparently not. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Let's delete some of this track. And let's level this land for now. And hopefully it will find its way up the hill and we'll just connect from the middle of this 
turn up into that track. I think we did it. I think we did it. Wow. That's some work. Why did I do this? I think uh, the reason I did this is I want to have a, a branch coming down on our rail network to come down. I don't know that we will use this branch here or not. And then we'll definitely use this branch. Let's see. We're going to be doing several of these. Uh, let me, yeah, let's keep moving. How do I want this to go? Uh, these rails, these two, we could snake this around and have it go into another station to pick up coal. So I burned through a ton of cash too. You can see, let's, uh, let me grab a train station. And I was thinking for coal Now I don't know if there are any coal products or not. Maybe we make this station a tiny bit smaller. We'll go with four. This will be another one of those terminus type stations. Let's pop it here. And this is pretty expensive. Boom. And now let's just see how we want to do this. Um, Could come through another circle junction here. Let me look at my little drawing. Hmm. How do we want to come into this too? We could come in from the top. I think that's what I was originally intending. Come in from the top on this one. So this would be, yeah, doing that same thing. Tell you what, I'm going to end this episode early. Uh, you got to see the first little circle junction <laughs> and our, and our first, uh, station train station for goods and services. we got a bunch of loading cranes here and crates. It looks pretty cool. We don't have trains. We'll start out with this being on a separate network, all our material products, and then we'll eventually join up with our, uh, our people train here. And then we'll probably convert a lot of this track to being two lanes of, of uh, train track. But I think between episodes, I'm going to do a little work, try and get some of this set up more because it obviously takes me forever to do this because I'm just now learning how to do it. Um, but I'm going to see how far I can get. And then when we get to the next episode hopefully we'll be able to buy some freight trains or we will be close to being able to do that uh, i'll do some work like i said between episodes fortunately we're profitable so all this money dropping track and deleting track and experimenting um hopefully we will be fine on cash because we've got a solid truck network uh, in place that is generating income for us so that is all very cool for now, this is Gladricat signing off saying thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.